ask you a question. How many of you would trade places with a black person in this society? Raise your hand. I don't know the answer to that. Well, it's yes or no. How many of you would do it? I know I wouldn't. I mean, I, 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 I dated a Hispanic no. very dark. No, no, I'm not talking about Hispanic. I was going to the have question is, but yes. I was going to have children. So I spent many years thinking of myself as having very dark skinned children. Question is, how many of you would be willing to trade places in this society with a black person? I think I would. Absolutely. 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 No. Okay. I'm not saying there's not racism. Absolutely not. It's just saying I don't see it. Yeah, but you know how not, racist this country not is. Not to the degree that you do. Oh, no, you will you. never know. You know, in this country, we created the criminalization of black people. And when your skin is seen as a weapon, you're never unarmed. And that's why black boys and men and women are dying in the street with their hands up. What? I was born in 1950. You know what I expect of white women? Not a damn thing, nothing. I expect nothing of you because you have never given me anything. I can't trust you, okay? But how can we come together when you say something like, I will never trust a white woman? If we had a really hard to heart to talk to you, said so you would never trust me? Well, I would have to see. But you know, out, out of all your years in life, <laughs> you've never trusted a white woman. Well, let me put it this way. The ones I have trusted have come back to... Disappoint you. Disappoint me. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. It's interesting to me that Marnie, that you're, when, when Regina's talking about her feelings and how she doesn't trust white women, instead of saying, my God, well, how can, like, wh why? Like, what, what about me? That's what you said. Would you trust me? What if we had a heart to heart conversation? Why are your feelings so hurt? Both of you though has been about, it's like a hate like, against us. Like, like I feel like, like it's like, it's a, been very aggressive. Yeah. That really like hurts me that well, somebody would not. But uh, why are your feelings more important than the reality of the violence of our lives. Imagine if your husband beats you and you confront him, would you go and massage his back while you're confronting him? Or would you actually be really angry and hurt that he's been beating you? But that's where we come to when you've been a victim of abuse and white women have abused us our whole lives. Why do we have to hold your hand? Can't we just tell you, hey, you guys have hurt us. This is what you've done. Now make it right. I know Syra, and when she says she doesn't trust white women, and I consider her a friend of mine, I also understand why she doesn't trust me. I don't take that personally. And, and, and I'm asking and, a question on what could you do because as a white no, that's, woman, I mean, that's I guess it's we, like... we have a lot of work to do. We have so much work to do, and and so I don't. I don't take it personally because I understand that like that that is her life but to say you're her your life. friend but she doesn't trust you is also a hard thing for me to accept the same this is my but friend but, she is, not trust, but, it's not but also me. why on earth is it about you it, it the fact and, and also I want to come back to why would you say that we're spewing hate we're telling you what it's like to be us and, not and everybody you don't have to look at my color of my skin saying i'm white to not trust me why don't you look past that i'm white and say she's a good person because why her, her entire life we've everything. never given her a reason to trust everything us. is not all white people are bad everything not every white person is bad i think that part of what I have this discussion with people that I know, friends, lawyers, everybody, and they'll say, well, Regina, you know, there are some good white people. And I'll go, well, what have the good white people been doing for the last 450 years? What have you been doing? Obviously, it's not enough because nothing has changed.